changing the old black coach. Oh. What are the other offsprings of Warhammer Fantasy besides Man of War Dreadfleet? Yeah, Morning Crescent got them. Warhammer Quest. Uh, the Warhammer Fantasy RPG series. Um, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 4th Edition is the current one. It's amazing. Mordheim. Yep. Blood Bowl. War Master, which was a large-scale strategy with tiny, 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 tiny minis. I loved Mordheim. Mordheim was such a good game. The video game was fun too. The same, the creator stopped supporting it. If they had just kept working on that game, people would have eventually noticed it and it would have made bank. Alright, so. Uh, we need to pick a new quest. Let's do. Let's do the Fall of House Reardon. A grief-stricken old woman. The cause of her woe, she's homeless. A monster having made the nest in her family manor forced her into a rental situation to prove an unaffordable. Geralt approached her. She asked him to rid her manor of this beast. In return, she gave him key for her life savings. Fun. Lindenville. Are we going for a five hour stream? Yeah. Well, I'm not going for it. It's happening. Thank you. What was that about? What's become of me in me elder years? Refused a roof over me head by a common churl. I was born a noble's daughter. My brother and I, we managed the manor for years. What happened to him? A caller came one day. A drifter, a hunter. It wasn't long before we fell in love and wed. We prepared to leave the manor. My brother, he took offence, refused to bid me farewell. Years on I returned, but found no sign of him. Folk claimed monsters had infested our home. Come to nest there. Monsters, huh? I could take care of those monsters for you. Hmm. You're a witcher, right? No ordinary man would be so eager. Don't fret. It's all the same to me, provided you're honest. The house is east of here. Take this key. Once you've driven off the beasts, look for a chest. My treasure. Savings, really. They're yours. What'll that leave you with? A roof over my head is all I need. And if it comes to it, I've other heirlooms to sell. All right, fair enough. But I know you witchers don't work for free. I could never let you go without honest pay. Gods keep you. All right, I'm suspicious. This woman is treating me too nicely. Like she's she's doing too good of a job of telling me things I want to hear. So now I'm suspicious. <laughs> Ooh. 
Watch, I'm gonna get over here and find out Dolores, like, turned her brother into a monster. Alright, Roach, let's go. Would I recommend this game? Would I recommend this game? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I would. To say this game is a masterpiece, like, I, I barely gotten into this game, and I've been playing it for 30, uh, about 30 hours. I'm 30 hours in, and I still have not left this zone. Um, it, it's incredible. Oh, great. Bugs. Whoa, that one looks bigger. Come on, come closer. Oh no, it's just a warrior. It's just got weird colors. Tabletop for the Witcher? Oh, that'd be kind of fun. I mean, at least it's not win. Ow! Dude, I want a Warhammer Fantasy game so bad. That would be awesome. What did I say? I want a Warhammer Fantasy card game. That's what I was trying to say. Like, I want a good card game. There actually used to be one, um, but I don't know how good it was. And it's not for sale anymore. They had a pretty okay Age of Sigmar card game, but they they stopped selling it in person, and the game was never properly supported in my opinion. Because like all of the art for the game was not unique. Um, all of the art was, um, like, it was just the same art from the, like, the army books and stuff. Just put on a card. Huh, four of them? More card games, please. Oh, I just, I just, I, I yeah. love card games. I, I really enjoy card games and board games. Um, but I, I wish there was a Warhammer one. It's over here. Oh, just wolves. Cool. I may have made a mistake. Oh, you've got a. Wait, are you all just? Oh, whatever. Yeah, you do have a war. Wards are bad news. Gotta make sure they're put down. Okay. It's only about 100 people. Do I play magic? Uh, I used to. Um, I, I, I was never able to get super into magic. Um, I, I don't like the way the game is structured in that... Magic is one of the few games that I feel like in real life is very much pay to win. Um, to the point where it's unpleasant. Um, like, so many... Uh, but I, when I tried to get into it, like, you'd go to your local store or whatever, and people would just be playing, like, super hardcore decks where they, um, they had, like, spent just, just mind-boggling amounts of money to like buy all the cards they needed for their deck. And I, I hated that I just couldn't run a fun deck. Um, and like the community that existed was not, like I already, I already played Warhammer Fantasy. I already had an expensive hobby and magic to me felt like another super expensive hobby. Um, and I just, I just couldn't get into it. 
And I also really hated that, like, I couldn't do the things that I thought were fun um, if I wanted to play the game, like, like live or whatever, like, the most recent stuff is. Because it's like, oh, I really like running theme decks, like, and I really wanted to run, like, dragon themes. But, like, you gotta hope that the set that's live, like, has dragons. Um, or, like, enough dragons to run a dragon deck, or else you're kind of SOL on that. Um, and, like, I like being able to do what I want to do. And Magic, I feel like, doesn't let me do that. I feel like Magic is more of a system where you kind of have to... You can either play it where um, it's, like, open and, like, everything's available. In which case you're dealing with, like, trying to get cards that cost so much money that you could, like, buy, like, really expensive shit instead of a card. Um, or, or you're having to play, uh, I guess it's called limited format, which is like the cards that are currently legal, which, um, opens up a whole nother can of worms because it's like, okay, so you're asking me to pay money for stuff that, like, I can't even use in a certain format after, like, a fairly limited amount of time. Like, I don't know. I, I just, I don't, I, don't, I just don't like it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just don't like it. It's not for me. Hello. Wonder what door this opens. Sturdy barn key. Oh, hello. Bastard. Could have at least knocked. All right, we, let's let's explore after we kill all the ghosts. Turn to Dolores? Yeah, I don't think so. What? No. Oh, uh. The Wonders of Zeracania. During my many travels, I've seen countless extraordinary places. The primeval wilds of Brooklyn, the trees so high their tips disappear in the clouds. Oh, that sounds super cool. Dwarven chambers carved into the guts of Mahaka Mountains with walls plated in pure gold. The ice palace of Pont Venice adorned with stained, uh, stained frost windows. Yet none of these made such an impression on me as did the rightly famed Zeracania. Yet while I was traversing the fiery mountains, I feared disappointment awaited me on the other side. I heard many a fantastic tale about Zeracania, about its trackless sands burnt white by the sun, its golden scaled dragons weaving their nests amidst the dunes, its hunchback horses able to survive weeks without even a swallow of water, Campbell's, yet none seemed to me at all plausible. I was sure that these sensations were but figments of, the, of bar, some bard's overactive imagination. I know this will be hard for you to believe, dear reader, as it once was for me, but all of the unbelievable tales are true. Not only that, during my many months of travel, I came across wonders far surpassing those any prior travelogues mentioned. I saw temples dedicated to the worship of dragons. I heard their voice, almost human, but reverberating with a thousand echoes. I met warrior maids clad in leopard skins, tattooed from head to foot and giving no ground to witchers in mastery of the blade. I saw mages who channeled power from fire. I saw seemingly harmless flies whose solitary bite would make a man fall into a deep slumber, never to awake save to die. In short, Zerakani is a land where the fantastic is normal and the impossible occurs daily. I want to go there! Man, I want to go to these cool places. Contract, missing soldiers. Let it be known that the Imperial Army is in need of a man who knows the area, a hunter or scout, for example, to help us find a missing patrol. It's possible the soldiers fell prey to a monster. The suspicion is confirmed. Anyone delivering the beast head will be paid a reward by the undersigned. Addressing any and all questions, the same individual. Glory to the Emperor, Milan Norin. 
Oh god, no much prankings. Scrub the greasings from a dog's ear, soak into cotton twine, place in a new lamp of greenish hue, and set the lamp betwixt an ear crowd. For shoot shall they swear that a dog's head they behold, and this shall be no sorcery but good betidings. For the prince of Elander's nuptials, a paltry gnome armed with a miniature cutlass be behid himself in a pie. When Gaspar took at the princely banquet, Anon jumped out of the Bessa bread gnome, giving a terrible fright to all at first, then causing much merriment once the jest was figured. A synocephalus, or dog, a dog head in our tongue, a Not beast that is the waste. X3. Hey, uh, Natterpine, thanks for the bits, my dude. How are you doing? Uh, has the corpus of a man but the head of a dog. The Prince of Elander did receive such a specimen from those far-off lands. Uh, the Cynocephalus lets stream its urine with the tolling of every hour, both day and night, which is- what the hell is this? That is- that is the most nonsensical batshit thing that I've read in this entire game. Hello? What's this? A journal. Little wear and tear. Someone's the, journal. Dolores's? Dolores's journal. Um. Gurballs! Thanks so much for coming to the stream. Good to see you, my dude. The third of Fiane. Fane? Hot summer days have come earlier than usual this year. Humbert has grown unbearable. He gets angry whenever I accompany the milkmaids to the river. He says I'm not to fraternize with the help. But what makes him truly furious is when I converse with Yan and Fred. He claims a well-born lady should not uh, mix with men of lower rank, but doing so undermines his rightful authority over them. Perhaps once the summer swelter begins to fade, he'll become more tolerable. 20th of Fane. The boredom weighs heavier and heavier upon me. I love my brother, and I'm glad we did not sell the estate after our parents died, but at times I daydream of what it would be like to live somewhere else with other people. The 43rd of Fane. We have a guest. He's the son of a lord from somewhere near Gorse Velen. A hunt took him across our land he asked for lodging. Oh, what joy. Finally, something is happening. The 15th of Lameth. The time has come to admit it. I love Roderick, and I feel he loves me too. I hope Humbert will be pleased. The 18th of Lameth. I told Humbert about Roderick and me. He flew into a rage. He said that the match was out of the question. Perhaps I can convince him otherwise. 21st of Lemus. Humbert remains implacable, but I shan't abandon the love of my life for him. If I'm left with no other choice, I will run away with Roderick. That seems like a very, um, brief timeline for, uh, some rather significant life decisions. Ugh. His horse died here. Something's fishy about all this, though. Like, what happened to the brother? I mean, did he just up and die? If somebody must have killed him, I would think. Alright, here we go. Somebody lived here once. Dolores. Something here. The chest. Okay. Dolores. Everything in her story adds up with what we found so far, but what happened to her brother? Where is he? Why is he not here? I think we've already been in here. Must be. Okay. 
So they were twins. Interesting. I'm gonna guess he killed. He killed the house help. Maybe. Some very random loot. Some here, some here is very off. He died of sexual asphyxiation. I feel like that might be a little bit of a stretch. Hmm. Look like twins. His brother, must be. I mean, I, I, it could be you're dead on. It, it could be that you have solved the mystery. But uh, let's 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 look around just just in case. On a well. Huh. Ah, uh, we've searched every building. Am I missing anything, chat? The building has a cellar. Which one, the big one? Or the house? There had to be something else. No one's been here in a long time. back here the skeleton in the closet happens in the best families a man in his 30s There's 40s maybe ripped up in here what strange wall looks like it was put up later than the others Of pages missing. Aha. Torn out. Hmm. The page is missing from the journal. Let's see. And so the time has come for me to die of starvation in the dark alone in my own manner when my servants bring in a fresh harvest just beyond these walls. My cries are in vain. No sound escapes from the stony grave, from the tomb that that fiend Roderick sealed me in. If that is not the worst wrong he has done me, he stole my Dolores, and so I curse him. A thousand curses I call upon Roderick of Gorsvelet. 
Not for taking my life, but for taking from me the only one who gave my life meaning. If anyone ever finds the remains, my remains in this letter, please seek out my sister Dolores Reardon and tell her the truth. That I was killed by the man who seduced her, the man she left me for, the scoundrel Roderick of Gore's Velen. He struck me from behind, dragged me here, and then walled me, walled me in while I lay unconscious. He did not even have the courage to slit my throat. Yet, despite it all, I hope he brings her happiness. If so, I will rest in peace. But if he fails her, my ghost will haunt him to the ends of his miserable life, and he will die as I have, alone and forgotten. Yep, we have a cask of a Montanado and situation. Thus I die in darkness of hunger and thirst. God's have mercy. Man, that is a shitty way to die. I, I, I think he cared for his sister. I, I don't think he meant that he, like... I don't think he meant... I think he meant that in a familial love. Yeah, it helps to have beast oil. Dolores. I wonder what happened to... I wonder why she came back. Like, if Roderick betrayed her or... Whatever. Man, that's sad. Roderick sounds like he was kind of a piece of shit. Now, what a horrible way to kill someone. What about your lore question? What about it? Uh, let's see. Is comparing the Warhammer world to the late medieval slash early... Modern historical world a fair assessment. If so, is there anything akin to the ancient? Uh, so, the Warhammer world is kind of a tricky thing because it's not a one-to-one -one system as far as like what age is the Warhammer Fantasy world in. It's it's hey more there. of a it's more of a mix, right? Um, where some of the Warhammer world is in the medieval era, like Bretonia. Some of it's in the Renaissance era, like um, um, the Empire. It, it just it just depends on kind of like what specifically you're looking at and dealing with. Um, that being said, there is or was uh, the the equivalent to the ancient Roman Empire is twofold. Um, if you're looking for things that are um, like more story based. The bandits got and took me a golden help. Not there's a way down a way to order. Save your gold or I'm begging you. Pack of fat doinkers in the middle of nothing. No point pondering it. Gentlemen. Quite the banquet. Where'd you get all the meat? Found porkers wambling all about. So we roasted one of them. What a bite. Plenty to go round. Um, <laughs> no thanks. I'll pass, thanks. Your loss. Caius, cuss off another hunk. No, I won't stand for it. They done roasted your golder, the Wazax. The Wazax? Uh, him again. You want another bannikin? What's this about? They slaughtered your golder, cooked her up. Wazax! Wazax! Same old song. Nothing doing. Gotta wallop him. Caius, Jacob, grab him! Nay, shan't be! Help! Leave him alone. He hasn't harmed you. Leave him alone. We go all chummy. He says like Wazak. I'm protecting a man that says Wazak. You do this? No grockle's gonna give us 